guys, it's Paul Bowen again, bringing you some more videos on her wigs, hair systems, whatever we want to call them. This might be part two of uh, my original video with, you know, your system looking bad. Um, if you want to look at the previous video, or even if I've carried this on, um, you can have a look at that. So I'm actually going to take you, if you've watched that, you've seen how bad my hair looks right now. Not like, obviously, it doesn't look really bad. Um, but we're going to improve that and I'm going to actually take my hair system off in front of you now. Um, I'm going to actually go to the bathroom so we're going to lose all the fancy lights. Mainly because um, of the spray. I don't really want to go in on my walls or my carpet. Um, so we're going to do that now. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in my bathroom. So yeah guys, welcome to my bathroom. Um, I've got my mirror right in front of me. I'm going to try and flick in between the two. I couldn't set my camera up at the mirror. Um, I actually just need a bigger mirror. Um, so you might see my eyes looking into the um, screen here. Um, so I'm sorry if it doesn't look a professional. So like I said, we're going to sort out this bit of a, you know, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a hair trim. Um, I'm going to try and get rid of this colour. Um, and we're going to go from there. So what I used to remove it is a product called C22. That's to completely remove your hair system. I know you're thinking, what, we're going to this stage already? Yes, we're gonna remove the system. Uh, because I've not done it that many times, it's actually faded, it actually comes, it looks a lot more like a, a urine color, um, but I think it's probably losing its touch. I probably need to buy some more, but like I say, obviously pre-lockdown, I never did this myself, but a lot of people do ask me about self-maintenance, so I'm just gonna show you. This is only gonna be my third ever time doing it myself. Um, I did it the first time, felt confident, done it a second time, yeah, really, so I'm pretty confident on showing you guys how to do it. Um, so you can also use, um, I have lace release uh, on this system as well. I've got lace release, uh, I've, I've got lace release, I've got lace on the front. Um, again, we'll get into another hair systems, um, different hair systems another time. If you're watching this, thinking about what's a lace, what's a skin, have a look on YouTube. There are other, you know, people out there showing them what I are. But if you want to wait for me, um, I'm going to build that in eventually. Also, a good thing to notice as well, like I say, like the lace, you can just see, you know, it's it's all peeling up. I do get dry skin there. You know, I mean, it's just looking a bit, it's a bit minging, which is why I've got my hair down. So we're just going to go straight in with the C22, you can just peel your hair back um, and just squirt and look like I say, because I've had this on for so long, um, it will peel off easy, but like, as we get towards the glue, you, you know what I mean, it does hurt, so just make it easy for yourself, use your finger, you know what I mean, I've been sweating all day today, um, so it, yeah, it does make it a bit easier, you know, this, you know, people say, oh does it ever come, it never comes off. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, we can put that on there. And that's it. It's off. Bosh. You know, you're thinking, what, what the hell do you do now? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my C22 on the back of the system. I'm just going to let that soak. Hopefully it'll, you know, sort the glue out. Um, and we'll just go through that. What I do with my head, is I'm going to spray my eye then. Um, just, you know, proper get it in there, really mix it in your hair, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything, well, it's never done to me anything yet. Um, like I say, I apologise if I'm dirt like you thinking, you are filthy. Uh, I don't know if you watched my previous video, if I've carried on this as the same video, been motocrossing today, um, which is why I'm absolutely disgusted, so we're gonna do this and jump in the shower. And then, what you can do is get a brush, ideally you want like a really thin comb, I've just not got one. Um, and just, just brush it through, see if you can get any, any glue bits out. You know, I, I, your, your shampoo's never gonna wash your glue. So, you know, you really need to break that glue down with the C22 or your lace release. Um, you, know, you, you, know, it doesn't, you know, you can stick this on for good measure, this is the lace release, do you know what I mean? I'd say this one's more al alcoholic. Um, and you know, if you've got any cuts or anything like that, definitely don't put that in there. Um, the C22, yeah, you don't get that, you don't get that same sort of fresh thing. Like, see, don't be scared, you know what I mean? It's not expensive, I think I think they cost about a tenner each. Um, and they'll just last you, you know, obviously if you're using it all the time, it'll last you 
you know what I mean, it won't last you that long. Well, I say it won't last you that long. I probably reckon you could do, I'd say, 10 out of that if you wanted. Um, so, like I say, it's only, you know, quid a time, maybe, if you're lucky. I reckon it's cheaper than that. I don't know, just chatting. So, yeah, it's, you know, get it all mixed in your side. He's there, it's mixed in your head. You know, you want to be feeling that you can't feel any sort of, like, thick glue. You, you will have a bit of glue in there, but... Once it's all broken down, you can, you can wash it in the shower. Um, so, I don't know if you can see there, I'm going to, um, you know, there's no sort of big glue touch of stuff. So, I'm going to end this video now, I'm going to jump in the shower, I'm going to show you how to wash your head. I think you're pretty mature enough, mature enough, I think you're pretty uh, old enough to know how to wash your hair and your head. You know, I, I do get people saying, like, how do you wash your hair system? wash it by your hair, but we'll do a video on that if you want later on. So yeah, I'm going to jump in the shower now, um, and I'll see you in a bit. Two, one, you're back in the room. Okay guys, so I've had my shower now, as you can tell, all the mud's gone off my face. Um, there is no glue in my hair, um, or on my head. Um, you know what I mean, everything's looking good. Um, these rashes, if anyone's worried about what they are, um, it's just sensitive skin that I have sometimes, no matter if I have a hair system on or not, they do flare up a little bit and that's a scar. But yeah, if you, like just before, you see me take it off um, and I left it soaking in the C22, uh, what you can do just to start it off is I just use my finger just to like rub it in and almost like, I don't know, like scratch it off, um, which you can do. I don't know if you can see that there, so you just just do like that. I've got to be honest, this bit takes a lot of time um, to get it cleaned up really nice. Something that you think like, yeah, I'll, you know what I mean, I'll wear, you know what I mean, it's, it's fine to wear. And, you know, ideally you want to clear off all the glue that you can. Um, you don't want to be leaving any old glue on there because it just doesn't stick. Um, so like I say, I'm just literally, you can see where I've like, you know, done a little parlo with my finger. Um, it's painstaking, absolutely. Like, do you know which is why I just don't do it myself. I just, I just see it easier um, just to go to like a, your, your local um, hair salon that does your your systems. Um, just because it, you know, what I mean, it takes a lot of time, and you know they're good at it. They're probably quick. They probably know a few more secrets than I do. I might look into more secrets for you. Um, so yeah, I just enjoy you know, going and getting my hair done and not having to do this. But, you know, if you're trying to save some money or you've had a nightmare of a, a, a week or you've not managed to go, then this is going to save you. Um, so yeah, so literally, like I say, I'm just literally just using, you know, don't, if you've got sharp, you know what I mean, I ain't got sharp nails, but if you've got like, if you're, I don't know if you were blind, you know what I mean, if you were in false nails for whatever reason, um, I just wouldn't recommend that, but just, literally just you know working it into this this system but like, say you'll, you'll eventually you just do that you, you can just see you just like I say you just scratch off little squares and you can you can see the base um, try not to get it in the actual hair itself um, and yeah that, that is it really so I'll, I'll just speed this up while I finger it and um, also as well record just a thought of it there recommend doing it in the bathroom with your tiles um, I should have my bathroom rug there then just because the glue will come off again don't be wearing mint clothes um, because if you get it on your clothes it, it's just hard work to take out it won't ruin your clothes you can still get it out but it is hard work so just yeah I'm going to put it in some tissue um, in fact, I'm going to use some tissue yeah, just put it in some tissue like you do on your hair So I didn't tell you on this, I did take my tape off, um, which usually I do first. Um, so again, just re lace release on the back of the tape. Always make it easy for yourself. Don't be like, you know what I mean, or trying to rush it or anything like that. Just take your time with it. You know what I mean? If you've got tape on, sometimes um, I don't work, I have a system without tape. Um, I don't quite know which one I prefer yet, if I'm being honest. Um, but I'll do another video on that later on. 
So like, you see, I'm just literally, you know I mean, you have the messy light, so you can just see where I'm taking it off now. I know it just looks a mess right now. But soon, it shall look good. Try and not do what I've just done there, which is by saying, which I do, you'll do it, you get impatient. And what you'll do, you'll, you'll have her with the tape. So like, say like, like, now there's like her stuck to it. Just use your thumb and very little pressure. You know what I mean? If you need to, use a bit more lace release. Um, but yeah, try, try and not rip any more hers out because obviously I don't want any hers ripped out. One thing I did forget to say on the video is just to use um, some cotton wool. You can buy this from um, like boots and places like that. It just picks up the glue and just makes it easier rather than scrapping it all off with your finger. When it's done, it should be nice and clear like this as you can see. There's no glue on there um, and it should all be removed and that's when you know that your system is all cleaned up on the base. And what you can now do is just give it a good shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so you now we've cleaned our hair system up. It's all spick and span. We've got our conditioner in. You might just want to give it a towel dab, which I didn't just show there. I'm going to show you what I do now. If I'm if I'm going to leave it off overnight, um, or we're going to go and do something else, like cut our own uh, hair, uh, I'm going to show you my secret weapon. These are expensive. It's a rice cooler window. I just put that on my stairs. I balance it on like that and then I just uh, stick my hair on there, leave it overnight. What I did meant to say as well, it's also used this as a good time just to brush your hair system just to remove any knots you think you may have in there. So guys, we've cleaned up the hair system all nice. I've left it overnight on the colander. Um, you could you could do this the same day. Um, I just chose, you know, while it's the weekend, I'll be, you know, I'll, I'll spend the night with no hair on. Um, it just feels good actually, just to have not on. You know, the same reason when people have hair, they get that feeling just to shave the head. It is quite nice just to sleep without. Obviously, this isn't quite a good look, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and um, start. Start making it better, basically. Um, so, like I said, we've washed our hair, we took all the knots out. The hair system is the best it's going to look, minus this one. Um, as we've said, it's you know it's starting to go. So we're just going to cut our own hair now on the maintenance bit. Um, so the, what we're trying to do is get rid of that that lip that grows out. You crusted the clown, the clown um, sideburns, if you want to call them. Um, what I do to start with is if you get the hair system and you put it on your head there, um, what you want to do, so I'm going to go in my mirror here, is, is line it up to where it should go, okay? So if you line, line it up with your hands of where you know you think it fits, um, just with your hands there, you, know, you, you know with left and right you can move it about you know, don't obviously there's no glue on this at the moment. Um, get your little brush, it should stay on, you know what I mean? You can just hold like that, it's not. And again, people say about, you know, her system's coming out with no glue on, I think, yeah, yeah, it, doesn't, it just doesn't come off, you know what I mean? It's, it is, the skin systems are very important for your head. So we're literally just gonna try and trim down this bit here, um, just that step. Um, with the hair system because obviously our own hair grows the system doesn't so we just want to remove that step um, I always say put this on just so you've got a good gauge of how much to trim off we're gonna put it on take it off you know what I mean get that really good not really good just a, a good cut so take it off again and now we're gonna be on to cutting our hair I'm using a Remington beard trimmer 
um, mainly because I haven't got a um, hair clippers at the moment. I might get some soon. But when you're cutting your own uh, your own hair, you remember you're not a hairdresser. If you're a hairdresser, say you know what I mean. Carry on. Don't be going for like a skin fade or any kind of fade. We're just gonna trim off enough. So just for a self maintenance reason, we're just gonna trim off a very small amount. Just get rid of that step and just make it look better than what it did before. If you're looking for that really good cut, just go to the hairdressers. You might even be able to do this and go to the hairdressers and just be like, can you just do a bit of a skin fade tiny around my ears and whatnot? And if you're comfortable, tell them that you've got a system and just don't cut. If you don't know what they're doing, tell them not to cut the system because that's where it goes wrong. You know, you do have to be trained or have some knowledge in her system and her to cut it. So just for this exercise, we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna take a small amount off. What I really recommend is just going on your biggest possible setting and working your way down. Okay, so you know you're gonna go on your biggest setting on this, it's number 18. Um I don't know if that is an 18 or what, it looks quite big. Um, so we're just gonna do that and I'm just gonna go right to the top of the head, probably go down a little bit more as we go on. Um, you know what I mean, until I'm happy that I've got a nice bit of a cut there. So yeah, let's off we go. this now so like I say I've just done the 18 all around it's not really taking anything off so drop down your steps like I say don't be going oh yeah number five boom and then you're gonna regret it just slowly go down and um, we're gonna go to a number number 14 now and just try and take off a little bit more thing is with this uh, trimmer as well, what you might know is it actually sucks all your hair, um, so it does need emptying like all the time. So yeah, like a hair trimmer would be great, but the great thing with this is it's no mess. So like I say, literally just, you know, little bits at a time. Don't be, uh, I say don't be going crazy, you can see already, um, like I say I've got this bit here and I've just took, just took that, I've just took the edge off, do you know what I mean, like I've got with this bit, I've not, I've only got like, like that with that bit, so. We'll keep at this and carry on. Yeah, we've done a bit to our signings. Like I say, we're still on like 14. Don't know actually if it's a bit short and I did it last time. I'll probably still get away with it, I hope. Um, so yeah, you can come to the back now. You're gonna need a mirror. Um, with you as well, I forgot to say you might need one of these. Um, any mirror will do. Don't have to be special. I've got a magnifying one, and a, well, whatever it is. So yeah, let's uh, carry on with the back. So I've done the back. I'm just going to go quickly around again, just to try and make sure I've definitely not missed any bits, and it's all at least even um, on this number here now, so. So yeah, it's all even. Um, looks about even actually when you do that. Uh, like I say, I might have took a bit too much off, but I think once we get the system on the head, we won't know. I am gonna try now and do a little bit of a fade on the, on the sides, but we're not gonna do like a really skin fade or anything like that. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it down to, I'll try number 8 first, um, actually no, we'll, we'll, we'll be brave, yeah, yeah we'll go 8 first, like I say, start off, um, it's only because I've done it before, I'm pretty confident, you know, giving 1 or 2 I'm in, but always start low, like always start high and work your way down, don't remember, you can cut her off, but you can't roll her back on, well, not in a day anyway, so we're just going to, literally, I just go to about, like literally just above your ear um, with, with the shorter down. Don't go any higher um, for the fade, just literally like the.
like I said, like you know, you, you, you have got, I have got, like it is cut off a little bit, but I'm just going to take it down to six. Um, I reckon I'm, I'm pretty confident to do that. So, like I say, you know, even now I'm just sure. So I'm going to go with six now, just see what that looks like, and go from there. So yeah. I'm liking the six, um, I don't know if you can see there, obviously now I've, I've made a bit of a, a lip, I'm just going to follow that lip all the way around, try and get it as even as I can, and then we're going to blend the line in a minute, well in a minute, monopoly. So just, I just use my finger just as a good guide, and um, like I say, don't go up, just, just, just to your finger like that. What you can do as well is just uh, use a mirror as well, just to try and get the back as straight as you can. Head, probably not that even. Um, you know, it probably looks bad at the moment, but when we blend it in, um, which I'm hoping we can do, the line should just disappear. So even if there are is a bit mismatch, um, hopefully we can resolve that. Best thing to do in, like I say, we've done it at number six. You'd probably go to like a, a number 12, so where was it 14 before, and just work literally just work up that line. Um, don't go to the top because we're at 14, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's with a number 12. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. If I won, I would probably just go in with a 10 now. But only just do the little, like any bit that I feel like is a line. Don't go any higher. So, say if I've, I've gone for like 14, 12, like I say, it's like 12 is 6. So, if I can just do a 10 just round there. Um, but just like I say, just be very, very careful now. Um, so, I'm down at 10. Guys, it might look different. Oh, I might look back on this and think, oh my god, this is bad. Um, so now, just while I've been cutting my hair and I've got hair all over my neck, I'm just going to try and tidy up like just around my ears. Um, I've got a different trimmer for that. It's, it's, it's bloody harsh, actually. I need, I need another pack. Um, so yeah, now, now I've got hair all over my neck. It just gives me time just to trim up like around my ears and stuff like that. Again, you know, I'm not, I'm no professional, so we're just going to have to. Yeah. Wing it. So I've just put this little attachment on, um, just a bit more for something precise, um, just to help, you know, trim up the around the ears. So yeah, I've done the best I can with the ear trimmer, like I say, you know, I'll never make Barbara the Year Award, but it's just a tiny up, don't be going absolutely crazy. Um, less is more and all that lot. So we stick our hair back on, but well, I say stick it on just loosely. Place it on a little bit of a brush. Like I said, now you can see that step has, has, has just gone. And I could probably get away with trimming a little bit more just here. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now. Um, that side, I've done that side better. Um, obviously the colour's not done yet, which is where we're going to go on to next, which is the hair dye. Um, but yeah, you can see, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. Probably, like I said, probably a little bit short on the top here. Um, but that bit's going to grow back, so if it doesn't look good now, next week it probably look banging. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now is have a quick beard shave and go get a shower and I'll to get rid of all the hair, ready for our hair dye. Okay guys, I now just, um, I turned out I didn't have a shower, I just um, literally just give my face a quick wash 
um, and just towel dried and just got rid of all them hers. You heard, I thought you heard it had to be wet for dyeing, but it doesn't. Reading the instructions, it's only the second or third time I've done this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using her dye um, for my sides. Um, you've seen it is quite multicolored my hair. It's quite awkward actually. Um, so we're just going to match them both up together so it looks quite good. I'm using Carol, Carol? No idea. Um, light blonde seven I used this before it seemed to be a good colour so I'm gonna go with that and um, reading the instructions because like I say I'm not a professional at this um, first of all you've got to pre-treat your hair um, and so obviously in this case the system as well um, so you just use it's urged age divided so 31 I think I told this but yeah so it, I think this is just to put on your hair, um, just to maybe um, help it out with um, getting dyed, basically. Yeah, so it's just like a, it's just like a, I don't know if you can see that, it's just like a little gel. Um, this is obviously made for women, I think, so you, you get quite a lot. Um, obviously, we won't be using a lot. I think the hair dye was about seven quid as well, it weren't, it weren't dear. Um, like I said, I know it can be dear when you go to the hairdressers, but you know, you pay paying for a service. So that's a little bit on that. Um, on the actual hair system itself, we need to be doing that. So we'll just put it on there. No, not set the camera up really best. Um, so we're just gonna put that and uh, like I said it just says you know soak it all so you know really get the the hair it's easy I suppose it's easier doing this way like I say just working it in getting all the bits Lovely. So now reading the instructions. Um, put the gloves on. I'm gonna we're gonna mix the solution. So you get you get the uh, the gloves here. And so this is to um, so you don't stain your hands. I'm assuming. Also, like I say, it does say were. Um, yeah, well it says wear a towel to protect your clothes, but I'm just wearing a, a crappy t-shirt that I've had for a while. Your painting t-shirts, probably got a lot of them. This angle it might be a little bit better. Um, sorry, my bathroom is just an absolute mess. Um, so yeah, it says we've got a pork tube 2A into tube 2B. We'll pierce that. In we go, just says squirt it all in there. It's quite tough actually. Ah, uh, you want to roll, roll like two space. So that's so that's in there. And then just to give it a shake. So we've given it a shake, and now we're gonna apply it. You have to snap the, the snap the, the, the nub off. So I'm gonna do the hair first um, and then move on to my hair. So literally it just says, you know, you well it says you've got to put it in in the um, root by literally just go crazy with it like you're doing your bacon boy um, so you want to said you know you can rub it in with your hands you know, it does smell it does smell a lot actually um, I said just make sure you get the full the full system don't leave in any dry bits. 
because obviously any dry bits won't die. You know, you do, like I say, you do get a lot. This is for, you know, people with really long hair. So, you know, don't be scared. I know some people do use a brush, which you can do, I suppose. So yeah, that's all the system. Um, you can see that it's all got her dye on it, even the bits in the back. Um, you know, it looks looks fully dyed now. So now it's time to dye my own hair. It's time to dye my own hair. Um, same as before, just with the like the system, you're just going to use this. It looks a little bit like this, I'm sorry. Um, so I just literally put it on my hand and just rub it. it said, like, obviously, it said, you know, if you've got sensitive skin, this is a warning, just just test this out first. Um, I've never had a problem with it yet, but never say never. So yeah, that's, that is all done now. Um, I'm just gonna go and set a timer on my phone for half an hour. It says 35 minutes, but your system does die slightly quicker. So I'm gonna leave it, it's just in the sink here. I should put it on, I'll put it on the gloves actually, just so it doesn't stain my sink. Um, and then, yeah, we'll come back in 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes is up. I'm just gonna rinse this um, system out now, um, just with, you know, water, and then it's got some conditioner here that it requires washing with as well. So yeah, we're just gonna rinse this out. You can see now it's gone darker already. Got some in the sink. Probably should have washed the sink a little bit as well there. That's nicely rinsed. Um, it says put this on for two minutes. This is the um, conditioner that you get with it. Um, I think that's just to help the colour there. So we're just going to leave that on. Don't need a lot because I say it's only short hair. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that on for two minutes um, and wash it off. Um, I'm then gonna wash my own hair um, and do exactly the same thing with the colour. So I'll see you in a second. We've dyed our hair, washed our hair, we've dried the sides a little bit. My hair is now just a bit damp, the top of my head's dry. And the system's come out really good. And what I like to do now is place it on my head and just check the colour, check that I'm happy with everything before we start to glue. You know, if you do need to re-dye your hair, you can, or the system either or, you know, if you've not done one or the other quite the same, just gives you that time now to do that before it's stuck on. So, like I said with the hair cut, again, just place it on your, your head, um, where roughly you think it's gonna go. And um, with this system, I said I've been wearing it a while, so I can kind of see where it went before. Um, just a little bit back there. You can use your fingers, you know what I mean, to make sure that it's in line. You know, just try to get it the best you can, really. Use your mirror as well if you want to just check the back. Uh, it's always hard working back to front, but. You know what I mean? It does take a bit of time. You will get used to it. Okay, so what I like to do then is just brush my hair, brush the system, and just double check that you're happy with everything. Um, I think once you brush it, you get a better indication of where it's sitting, what, you know, that you've done a good job, and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I think I just went a little bit too short. Would have probably liked to kept a bit more length just up here, but you know it's not it's not too bad. Um, I think, like I say, 
give it another couple of days and I think it'll grow out, out itself. So, you know, I mean, I don't, I think it looks a lot better than it did before, I think you'll agree. So now we're just going to move on to the gluing. I'm happy um, that everything's good. So I'm just going to, uh, just going to start with the gluing. So for the glue, um, I've just got this little sample pot that I got a, uh, a while ago and it just worked last time. I don't know what make it is, um, but I think you can basically like Walker tape in there and I think it's Ghost Bond. There's a couple of others out there. They all pretty much do the same job. Just go for them branded names. You're not going to have any issues, you know what I mean? Um, and go from there. So what I like to do is I like to do a 50-50. I don't, you see a lot of people put it in all in one. I think when you're on your own, it's easier just to do half and half. So I like to do the back first, and then I like to do a front. Being that I've got tapes on here as well, um, this one's gonna be a bit more harder because last time I did one, I had an all skin, which is all glue, and this is tape. So you just gotta be mindful not to go too far with the glue. If you do go too far with the glue, you get it on your head, it's not a big issue. It's just harder to clean up afterwards. So what I like to do is like, like I said, go from the back, do put it on your head and put it on the system. Um, but what you want to do, you don't want to put it on straight away. You want to wait till the white PVA, like white PVA glue, almost goes a clear colour and that's the optimal sticking time. So we're going to go and do that now. So what I like to do is I've got it all in position nicely. I believe I've got it in a good position. Like I say, just double check on that back. I don't know what I mean, it seems to, have, it seems, it seems to be okay there. Um, so I'm going to go with the back first. Is what I like to do is just literally just flip it forward, okay? You flip, flipped it forward like that. This is like a your idea. This is um, now really we can apply the, head, the glue to both your head and the hair system. I'm using just like I got these. Um, well, we uh, Missy's got these waxing strip things for, and I'm just using that. Previously, I used a Magnum Lolly stick. That was perfect. I kind of wish I'd have had a Magnum. Uh, but no, I'm going to go with that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick it on. So I've just got about that much on a stick so far. Again, less is more. You know, you don't have to go crazy. What I like to do is do the mirror. And uh, you get the, just try and do it the best you can. So try not get it on your actual hair. Um, and just try and spread it quite, you know, not too thick, quite thin. It is hard, this is the, it's so hard working in reverse, um, working in the mirror. We do get a feel for it as you, as, you, as you go on. I imagine if you did this yourself all the time, you would probably become a bit of a pro at it. Um, but as I said, this is only my third time. I ain't that good. Okay, so you can see, I don't know if you can see that, I've got it on there, um, just with that small, small dab. Like I say, you don't need a lot. Like I say again, just a little small dubber dabber. Uh, so hard working back to front, which is why I do go to the hairdressers myself, um, but like I say, you know, if you need to save money um, or you just can't afford to, you know, this is a really good insight for you um, for what to do. Okay, so that's, that's the hair taken care of. Um, this is a bit easier now, you can just do the system yourself. Um, get a little bit, you know, when you're doing your system, don't go to the edge straight away. Wait till you've got, you know, you're comfortable with what's on the stick through the edges. And you want you to get as close to the edge as you can. Obviously, try not to get it on your hair. So as you can see, I've got glue on there now. I'm just gonna leave it 10 minutes, five minutes, well, five, 10 minutes, just for that white to sort of almost go clear. Um, 
and then we're going to peel it on. So yeah, looking like a bit of a melon for, for a few minutes and then we're going to go from there. Right guys, like I said, um, just wait for that glue to go tacky. You can see now there's only a little bit of white on the system, but on the back of my head, I don't know if you can see that. I've not got a mirror, oh, the door's open. Uh, can you see that guys? I can't, yeah you can. Um, the glue has completely, like, it's got like, what is it? It's at a tacky stage now, so it's the best way to stick on. So all we're literally gonna do now is where it's it's still stuck on, like where we, we put it on a head, you just get your fingers and just go back with it. Making sure you don't make like don't you don't go too hard and pull it back. Um, so all I do then is just get your fingers and just press it down, use your palm your hand like, like a little that motion. Um, and that's just literally gonna form a bond now. What I like to do now, wait another five or ten minutes, make so that that almost sets, because um, it will set, it will like it will get really tacky with the two, um, and it'll it'll take a little bit, it'll get stuck together, and then we can do the front. So yeah, just bear with two sets, guys. Okay, guys, so the back is stuck on. We're gonna now gonna do the front. Um, like I said, this is a lace system, so we're gonna use tape on the front. Um, I use Walker Minis. Um, I just find these really easy to peel off. Um, a lot of tapes, I don't know what it is, they're not made for men. You know what I mean? You've no fingernails half the time. With these, you've got like a little slit. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there you go, there you go. They've got like a little slit. You can just get your fingers in there and peel them off. First thing you want to do is I like to cut them in half. Um, just that little little bit there. Um, use a good pair of scissors if you can, although these are minging. Um, so yeah, just, I just cut these literally in half. So you should end up with like saying like that. What I like to do, keep them separate so you get your left and your right. It's, it's angled. Um, so when you take that back off, so for instance, you'll do this side, and when you take the back off that side, you'll do that side. If you keep them both together, you will be fine. So, like I said, the back's stuck on now, you should only be able to like, you go so far, and then like, like I say, like now, I can't go any further because um, of the glue that I've stuck on before. So we'll, we'll stick the tapes on first, um, and then we'll put the glue on as well. So what I like to do is always do the edges first. Because usually, like I say, when you do your tapes, You've you you know you usually got it glued down. So usually when you do your tapes, you've only got like that much to play with. Obviously now we've got that. I've got the whole thing, so I can do that. So you just just do each side. What I always say with people with tapes, like people always fret about it. Just take your time. You'll get better. Do you know what I mean? It's just don't rush it. You know what I mean? I'm very confident at sticking them to the edge. Um, Again, with tapes, you know, don't panic. If, if you've not got it all the way to the edge or you've done it a little bit too much, it doesn't really matter. You can get away with it. What you think is bad isn't that bad. Um, what I like to do with the top, again, is just get the best get the best angle um, that you can for the top. I think the top's a problem. Where, where it goes like that in the middle, it's always hard, so I just like to try and get the best angle and um, do that. So now, I've stuck my main ones on. Um, we're gonna have to work outwards. So this is where your peeling comes in. So just make sure they really are stuck on. You know, use both fingers if you want. And then what I do is you just peel one side a tiny little bit, and the bit that you want off is completely off. Make sure you do two bits because it's easy to peel off then. So just like that. The other side. There is quite a bit of movement in the tape, so you can arc it a little bit easier. Um, you know what I mean? Don't don't be scared to to, to muscle it around to, to get the sort of shape that you want. 
Like I say, you can see there, I've kind of just gone over the hairline a little bit. It's not a big issue. Um, you won't see it because it's so clear. What it might mean is if you get it dirty, you might see that come up a little bit more. You can just wet your hair down if it's the case, or just replace your tapes. People ask me as well about like tapes. I always say, you know, I try and do it every four days on tapes if I'm going to look it good. I've left it for like a week and a half before. Um, all it all it does, if you don't do your tapes quick enough, it just just takes eight more longer to do it. Really, like it takes the cleanup is a lot harder. Yeah, I've definitely got definitely gone over um, the hairline there. I don't know if you can see, but I say I'm not I'm not too bothered. Um, so yeah, that's that's them all that's them all on. Um, I'll probably take the blue off now actually. Uh, just make sure you've got no hair, like your hair's all the way back. Do you know what I mean? So your hair doesn't touch the tape, so why you, you got to have tape in your hair? Yeah, it's just messy. So probably because we're going to glue, we'll probably just peel these off. So always, always go left to right and hold your finger down when you do it. Because so we've carefully done that, you can see you know, it's all the way around the edge. Um, that's good enough. I say I know a lot of people like to put glue on the tapes as well. I personally don't like to do that because I just find it hard work to do your tapes. If you clean your tapes regularly, you've no need to um, do that. Um, I'd use the other side of your stick from before, um, like where your rubber sticks or, you, or alternatively, which I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a new stick um, they cost pence these, so just use the other side or use a new stick. Um, again, just a small amount as we did before. I think this one's running out. Yeah, I think that one's run out. Luckily, I've got another tub. So, as before, um, just do your head um, first. Like with me, I can see where I've worn the system. Um, you know what I mean, where my head's a little bit, you know, red. Um, it's not, you know, I think it's just because it's getting no light or whatever. Um, I've, I've been wearing three years, so before you start thinking, oh, is it bad for you? Three years later, I'm still fine. Um, so yeah, just use your glue. Like I say, I'm not gonna go all the way to my um, hairline purely because of the tapes. If ever I get an issue where the, it's not stuck down enough, I'm just gonna, put more tape on. So I'm just gonna glue this on now. So yeah, it's on the top of my head now. I'm just gonna do the same thing what we did before, I'll do just do the top of the uh, this top of the system. Again literally just small amounts. So yeah, that's done now. Um, like I say, it's still white, so we're just gonna wait until, again, it just goes a little bit tacky and go from there. Here we are again. Um, it's pretty much gone clear. There's a few white bits, but I'm not really too bothered. Exactly the same as the back. We're gonna do the front and literally just get our fingers um, at the back, at, like at the back, and just slowly fold it down. As we go forward, I'll probably do this in camera screen actually. Just, I'm literally just going like that. Making sure I don't get any creases. Just flops down there. And that is B A beautiful. Just palm it down. Oh we are away. Um, it's, you know it's stuck on there now. I, mean, I can brush it if I want. And then Everything is fine and dandy. Um, I'm just going to literally spray some water and use my hairdryer to style it up. I don't think I need to show you that. Um, and I'll see you in my usual filming room. So guys, we're now back in the room. You might look like this looks like last week's video, which yes, it does, because now we're at the point where we've done absolutely everything. I thought some people might think like, 
how do I know you have done it yourself or you don't really but you're gonna have to believe the stages that we took um, to get to this point so like I said to you I've just been in blow dried my hair and put a bit of styling wax in I think I've done a really good job um, for doing it myself like I say I'm not a trained hairdresser um, if you just want to follow that I really do wish I'd have probably just left it a little bit longer however I think after a week it'll grow um, and it'll probably look quite good actually I still do need a new hair system. This is like, like I said, it's on its last legs. And um, like I say, if you want to see a bit more of the back, I think, like I said, I think I've, I've kind of not gone straight with my blend line, but I think I'll get away with it. I don't think it looks too terrible. It looks better than what it did um, before we did this. So I'm pretty happy. If you've got any more questions, I'd really, really love you to comment and ask me. And um, hope to see you soon, guys. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe. See you later.